I apologize in advance, I lost my voice, but this is the Corsair K70 RGB rapid fire with Cherry MX speed switches. And the reason that this is a video, the reason that I'm doing a video on this keyboard specifically, is this is an actual innovation in the mechanical keyboard industry. This is an all new switch type that for the next six months, I believe it is, Corsair has the exclusive rights to use in the market. And then after that, you'll start seeing it in other brands and other keyboards. But the Cherry MX speed switch is supposed to represent basically a better switch for gamers that need that extra speed when they're typing their keys and they need the shorter actuation and the quicker press. So today we're gonna check out the keyboard, see what it's got and see how well these switches actually perform. Deals. We all love a good deal, but on top of finding the deal, you need to make sure the product has good reviews and is actually discounted off the regular selling price. That's why I created dealhunter.tech, a website that constantly finds deals from all around the web, checks the reviews, checks the price history and displays only the best tech deals that are truly worth buying. Each deal is also tweeted by at dealhuntertech. Go check it out, links and everything will be in the description below. So I figured I might as well just start with an overview and then the meat of this video will be talking about the switches but I should still give a preface with the whole keyboard. So it's built like a tank, it's got real aluminum in there and uh, there's zero flex to it, it really feels nice, it's got some heft to it. It's got, uh, the aluminum is like powder coated or painted black which looks very good. The lighting bounces off of it very well. Uh, there's a nice rubberish feeling wrist rest that I'm a big fan of. Corsair includes a very nice wrist rest. Uh, a lot of keyboards just cheap out with a like, cheap plastic one. This is a very high quality one that you definitely will be using. Uh, in the top right we have multimedia keys like play, pause, back, forward, a volume scroll wheel which is awesome, dedicated mute button. Of course you have the RGB lighting and the keycaps. You do get replacement keycaps for the keys used most often for gaming. So this is what they look like. They're a, uh, a little gray with a like, gunmetal design on it. And it's just a little bit grippier uh, than the regular ABS keycaps that are found on the keyboard. Take that back. Uh, on the back, of course, you have just two horizontal feet. They don't have any rubber padding on them, so it will slip around a little bit. And then on top, you have a switch for the polling rate and a USB path through. And then the cable, I, I hate this. Yes, it's braided, so that's bug. But it's like half an inch thick, not actually half an inch, but it's an extremely thick cable. And a lot of you will know if you saw my custom desk video, we have a hole behind the keyboard for the wire to go through to hide it. This cable is too big for the hole, so I can't route it through that hole and through the desk and have it nice and clean, which is a big problem. Uh, it does make sense because it's plugged into the computer over here, but there are multiple uh, USB outs over there. There's one for the pass-through and then one for the power and the lighting and everything. So it makes sense why it's so thick. It's carrying two USB cables in there, but it is a big inconvenience for setups like mine where I was routing the cable through my desk. So real quick before I move on to the key switches, I want to talk about the lighting and the software. It's called the Q software, which is Corsair Utility Engine, and it's the same software they use for all of their RGB products. It kind of sucks. It's really complicated. It has a large learning curve, so you really need to get used to it to be able to control your keyboard well. Granted, it does have some nice presets like the one you're seeing here that allow you to give like spirals, waves, reactive typing, that kind of stuff. But when you want to get into custom lighting, that has a big learning curve. Uh, but I'm not really worried about that. I don't need to get into custom lighting. That's really not my thing. RGB lighting is cool for effects like this. So as far as I'm concerned, the software is fine. It lets me do what I want to do. But if you're somebody that does want to really mess with it and get custom lighting, you're going to have to learn a little bit how to use the software. It is just a little bit clunky and slow, but it gets the job done. And the lighting does look fantastic once it's on the keyboard, especially with the floating key design and everything. It looks great. The Cherry MX speed switches, why do they matter? There's really two differences that you need to worry about with them. Basically, they're Cherry MX Reds better suited for gaming. And the first difference is actuation distance. Cherry MX Reds, you need to push it down two millimeters to actuate the keystroke. Cherry MX Speeds, you need to push it down 1.2 millimeters to actuate the keystroke. And then Cherry MX Reds, you, can, you have to press further to bottom them out, where with Cherry MX Speeds, bottoming them, bottoming them out and hitting the bottom of the keyboard is a shorter distance. So what does that translate to? a little bit faster of a keystroke maybe i don't know with gamers they really try to get an edge everywhere they can high refresh rate monitors low response time uh high powered graphics cards uh, mouses mice mouses mice mouses with no latency that kind of stuff this will give you just a teeny 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 bit of an edge pressing that keystroke a little bit quicker 
Uh, is it worth it? Yeah, I don't know. It's up to you if you're a gamer, if you're competitive like that, maybe it is. For me, not so much. I don't like the Cherry MX red switches to begin with, so I don't really like the Cherry MX speed switches because there's no tactile bump. But again, that's just because I use a mechanical keyboard to type, whereas a lot of people use it for gaming. And yes, this is probably the best mechanical keyboard you could get for gaming in terms of competitiveness and latency and getting your keystroke in there. But if that doesn't matter that much to you, these aren't the best switches to type on. Which brings us into the next segment, doing a typing test on this keyboard, just to show you what exactly I mean by these aren't the greatest switches for typing. So here's the Corsair K70 RGB, just for reference here. Here is a uh, keyboard with a Cherry MX blue knockoff switch, which is clicky. And you'll hear that if I press in a little bit, I'll hold it up to the microphone. The little click where it actuates happens before the bottoming out. So there's sort of a click and a clack working. Click, clack. When it goes all the way down. With the Corsair K70 RGB, there's no click when it actuates, only the clack when it bottoms out. So there's no bump in the middle where it actuates. And that's the problem with typing. You really don't know when the keystroke activates and when you can move on to the next key. That's why I don't love it, but it still works. And I'll do a typing race here to show you how it sounds and to show you how fast I can type with it. Normally I can type around 105, 110 words per minute. So I got around 90 words per minute. Those were some difficult words in that exact type race. Uh, but really the story with this keyboard is you don't know exactly when you're pressing it. There's a lot of resistance and it just feels kind of weird to type on. I'm sure you'd get used to it, but I vastly prefer clicky switches like this where you know exactly when the stroke is pressed and it just feels so satisfying to type on. So great keyboard for gaming, but for typing, I would go in another direction. So that's gonna be it for this video. Definitely a great gaming keyboard. One of the best options if you're into gaming and competitive gaming and wanna get an edge everywhere you can with that shorter actuation distance and these shorter keystrokes. Uh, but if you're just typing and want a mechanical keyboard, probably not the best option for the price. This thing costs, I think, $170 MSRP. And I've done videos on a $40 mechanical keyboard, a $34 mechanical keyboard. So you can definitely get mechanical keyboards that type better than membrane keyboards who are a lot less than this. But if you want all the frills, you want the RGB lighting, you want the multimedia controls, you want the aluminum frame, the wrist rest, and those Cherry MX speed switches, at least for six months until it's not exclusive to Corsair, then the Corsair K70 RGB Rapid Fire with Cherry MX speed switches might be a good choice for you. Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more content, and as always, stay classy.